Hi guys, as I promised in my last Iceland uh, Reykjanes Peninsula update about the volcanic system there, what's happening there with the lava carpet and everything, I promised you a more detailed update about what's going on in Iceland because it's rumbling all over Iceland. And this is unfortunately not just tectonic stuff because, you know, we know Iceland is basically divided by the North Atlantic Ridge where two tectonic plates are moving away from each other. The problem is it seems that several volcanoes and volcanic systems are waking up. I already made a video about one of them, but now many of them are experiencing tremors in the middle of Iceland, in the west of Iceland, in the in the southeast of Iceland. We were talking about the Vatna Jökull system. We just had more earthquakes at Bada Bunga 2.5, 1.3. Um, so a lot, a lot is happening in the Vatna Jökull area. Out of like 200 tremors, around 50 were in the Vatna Jökull area where there's several volcanoes. Um, there's the subglacial volcano Bada Bunga, but also tremors at Grimsfjall, Grimsvatn, strongest quake under Vatna Jökull. Um, occurred just below. Hamarin had a magnitude of 3.2. So seismic activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula has continued, but not underneath the site where we've seen the last eruption. Now all over again underneath Fagradalsfjall. This is where the eruption series started in, in, in 2021. Um, with 10 eruptions so far. The last seven were basically in the Sutnuka Crater series, not in Fagradalsfjall. Um, but then there were quakes off the coast near Rekianista in the Krizovic system. We know the Krizovic system in the very, very past before settlements appeared in Iceland has sent lava flows towards the outskirt areas of Reykjavik and it can do that again. So that is critical. And the, the Bluffjol area, also, that is an area that was experiencing earthquakes. And of course, not every earthquake that we see, I said it at the beginning in Iceland, is related to magmatic volcanic things going on, magma rising. Um, it can also be tectonic only. Um, but in particular, what we're seeing at Fagradalsvial, at Bada Bunga, and Grotta Vatten, for example, is suspicious. It looks like magma's rising up again. And let's let's have a more detailed look. So Grotta Vatten, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, that was we've seen a, the strongest earthquake in the region for a long time, three point two. That has just happened you see it here on the map and that is the Gryota Vatten region on the Snefelsnes peninsula so that is further north of Reykjavik that's another peninsula so in recent months earthquakes have occurred there more frequently so something's going on the epicenter of the last earthquake, the 3.2, was located 26.5 kilometers north of Borgarnes at a depth of only 18 oh. kilometers. So it's considered shallow, but relatively deep compared to other earthquakes. It had also several aftershocks, the strongest aftershock 2.6. So if that has a volcanic origin, 2.6, 3. Point something, that is already significant. If we see something like this on the Reykjanes Peninsula underneath the Sutnuka Crater series, we're like, oh, something could happen. We could see an eruption. That's why these quakes were clearly felt in the surrounding areas. So in the settlements that are around this. So it's believed to be the strongest area since October 7th, 2021. And that past then had a magnitude of 3.0. So the problem is that recent earthquake might have been caused by local stress from the tectonic plates, um, but it also could be magmatic. It could mean that magma's rising up. Of course, we have a lot of geothermal and volcanic active areas in Iceland. So you always have to suspect that it could be something like this. 
And sorry, guys, for the snoring noise. This is little Apollo. He's underneath me. He's sick. Um, I can't stop that. So sorry for that. And if you want to know what that is or why I'm in an RV, check out my playlist. RV trip to save my dog's life. Thank you. Um, tectonic plates are moving away from each other. The Eurasian and the North American plates. So that can lead to stress and also makes room for magma to rise from deeper depth. So the Snaffelsnes Peninsula is quite a complex tectonic zone because it's basically, it has to deal with the mid-ocean ridge activity of the North Atlantic um, and the local faults that are there. The, the, there's lots of local fault systems. So there's fissure volcanoes in this region. There's central volcanoes. One is called... Sneffels Yoko, um, and the area where we've seen that earthquake around Rotar Vatten, it's linked to another volcanic system. It's linked to the Ljosso Fjöl volcanic system. I think when I'm done with this video, I have to take the knot out of my tongue that these names create when I have to pronounce them. They're very impressive names, I have to say that, and they really sound quite cool. So, what are the Icelandic scientists saying about all this rumbling, about all these earthquakes? Well, they are saying, and this is the somewhat concerning part, they say that the increase in seismicity is a possible slow awakening of the volcano. So several volcanic systems in Iceland are awakening. We have the Reykjanes Peninsula that is active. So what's going on at Fagradalsfjall? That is basically very, very close. Is that erupting again? Is the Sutnuka Crater Series system moving to Fagradalsfjall again? Well, we don't know. We just have to monitor it, right? So definitely insecure times ahead for Iceland, but the Icelanders, I've seen comments, they take it as it comes. They're used to this and they're, they, they don't seem to be too scared, which is good, right? You live there in every area. You have to deal with things, with tornadoes, with earthquakes, with whatever. I mean, Iceland has landslides. It has avalanches in some areas. They have the earthquakes, lots of earthquakes, lots of volcanoes. Whole Iceland is created by volcanoes. They deal with it. What else can they do, right? They love their country. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's why. We're monitoring this very, very closely. The next eruption is underway on the Rikianis Peninsula. I've just released another update video about that. I'll put it in the end screen. They think late January, early February, conservative. This is when we could see the next eruption, but we could see it earlier as well. All the information in these videos, guys, and check out my video about these drone sightings. It's escalating. It doesn't stop. It's getting more and more and more. If you think these were just some jerks pulling a prank, they would have them by now. Government is saying, well, nothing to see here. Don't worry. If it was dangerous, we would let you know. But, you know, how can they know if they, on the other hand, say they don't know what it is? Well, how can they know that it's not dangerous? Hmm. I've looked into this, guys. Check out this video and I see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.